Guys, this episode was confusing. Hey guys, I'm back with another Love Island review. Tonight's episode, the Friday night's episode, which was the recoupling, was woo! It was a sweet one. But all I want to say, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my video. And do comment down below your opinions and everything. I'd really love to see your opinions about tonight's episode. And um, yeah, let's get straight into the business. Mm. If Naz goes home, <laughs> I'm fighting England. <laughs> I'm actually fighting England. I am going to going to meet Murad Morali. Check out his channel because his Love Island reviews are the best. And we're both gonna take a flight to Cape Town and I will fight everybody because no, you cannot you cannot make Naz go home. Anyway, this episode was really, really good. It was better than the other past um, other episodes. They were very like boring. So Luke T, Luke M are walking in and the girls see them and they're just like, mm, these guys are looking sweet, these guys are looking, you know, scrumptious. Anyway, both of um, Luke T and Luke M, both of them, they get a text saying that the public has actually voted for which girl they should get taken on a date. Um, I don't know which public Love Island is saying, but I surely know that the public did not decide for... Shanice, Shanice, Shanice to get picked, but anyway, I'm gonna be nice. But anyway, so Shanice got Shanice got picked, and um, who else got picked? Jess got picked, which is one of the twins. So I'm happy one of the twins is gone. I only have to say one of their names, anyway. Jess, so they go out on a date, the date was well boring. Skip, they came back from the villa, and it was just like you know everyone is ch chatting chilling you know it wasn't really much that much in the evening they were just chatting and chilling and then after that you just see a scene where Paige and finley are basically fighting so Paige was going at him saying this is be it's because of your age it's because of your this and i'm just like mate you're moving mad for no reason he said he didn't think anything of it you know it, it wasn't that deep the fact that he didn't sit next to you but you're moving all this mad and nonsense i just don't understand they squashed the beef and they were just like sorry sorry you know i like you blah 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 sophie and connor callum and shauna are sitting on the bean bags and they are basically discussing the new boys and stuff like that because um callum and connor want to know a bit more information and when i'm saying connor i'm sorry guys i mean connor with the veneers anyway so sophie you know sophie like she's really jokey she's a very bubbly girl you know like i just feel sorry for her i just feel like she's trapped in a relationship that she's not meant to be in anyway um sophie's just joking sex calling these two new boys good looking all that kind of stuff in front of connor with the veneers and connor with the veneers gets angry and walks off and i'm just like seriously and she's getting pissed herself You're like from that episode you can generally see that sophie is tired sophie is tired of this guy but she cannot do anything but sophie is tired okay anyway so sophie's just discussing this matter with shauna and callum saying that this is not unfair this is unfair you know she is a bubbly individual and all that kind of stuff this is the only thing where i will be on the side of Con connor with the veneers sophie understands that you're a sensitive individual she shouldn't basically say these jokes especially she knows the fact that you know he's sensitive and all that kind of stuff and sophie sort of knows he reacts in that certain way so it's like sophie's trying to gaslight him every single time like there's a situation going on so it's not really fun to see but that's the only thing i would have to say but other than that like if the guy can't really take a joke it's actually annoying like i feel like they say that they're both the same people but they really are not the same and sorry if you hear background noise i will open the window because it's too hot in my room but sophie basically needs a man that can understand her jokes and then finally sophie and connor's talk and you know she apologized and that's the thing like you can see that she's tired like she keeps saying i'm sorry i'm sorry and he's just like fine yeah but i'm just want to tell you i'm i'm angry and you're just like how many times do you want this girl to say sorry please like you can just see from her like her bubbly self is not coming out like it used to it's not oozing out but yeah and one thing where was where was Naz in this episode? I did not get to see Naz. I'm tired of seeing Naz on the unseen bits that comes on every single Saturday. Naz needs to be on the main show. Yes, he doesn't have a girl. Yes, he doesn't have a narrative. But please 
producers put Nas on the main show as well. I'm excited for the Saturday show because you get to see him in his funny, like he's really funny, like he's so funny. You get to see him. So I'm, so I just wish the producers would just put him on the main show as well. But anyway, Nas was like, nah, Nas no airtime, no airtime. Two new boys, Luke T, Luke M, they both get a text. Luke T gets a text saying that, um, oh yeah, they they can go for another date with two other girls. So Luke T, Luke T, yeah, Luke T is a gangster. This guy here yeah, is a gangster. Repeat, gangster. This guy is a gangster, basically. This guy was just like, listen, Mike, I know I'm at your yard, yeah. But this is my yard now. He was he was not taking losses from Mike. But he went into he basically said, Okay, Leanne, could I could I have a date with you? Because I haven't really spoken to you and I just want to get to know you more. Mike looks at him and is like, What are you asking for permission or something? And then after that, he was just like, Nah, nah, I'm not asking for permission. I'm not asking. I'm asking her in it. And I was just like, rah. This guy, he basically gives me Theo. He gives me, like, I don't know if you guys have watched season three of Love Island, but I have. And he just gives me Theo, Theo vibes. That's what, that's the vibes he's giving me. And I'm just, I'm just here for it. Like, really, I'm here for the drama. I'm here for the drama. And Lian looks like, this is the thing where Lian has been annoying me this whole week. This whole week, she will be giving Mike the types of dirty faces. Like, she'll be looking at him. She will be looking at him like, hmm, yes, I know he has been twerking. Yes, I know that's annoying. Yes, all that, that kind of stuff, I understand. But she looks, she she basically got something that is called the ick, where you're with your partner, but you actually don't like your partner. So whatever they do, it just looks disgusting to you. So you, you can't hide your face. Your face will be like, like that. Um, so during that moment Leanne's face was just like phew anyway Luke M picks um Paige and asks Finley for permission and then Finley's like yeah that's calm um anyway so these two girls go on a date with these two new boys so um Luke T and Leanne I would say Luke T is the type of guy Leanne has been with before so the guys that are not that well I'm not saying that Luke T is a bad individual but he just gives me that vibe like that's the that's the type of guy she would go for like he's very um confident he's very like i don't know like and he's very quick with his words like there's no no one can insult this guy because he will insult you back like and that's the thing um the date was all right i think between the but i just felt like there was no sort of spark or chemistry but Liam starting to realize that he is an actual nice guy and then after that page and luke m who looks like justin bieber luke m looks like justin bieber to the t i'm gonna put a picture here and you guys can see and i'm not lying he looks like justin bieber but anyway so luke um luke m and page having their day everything is sweet page looks like her head is getting frazzled because luke luke m is her type to the actual t then after that the two new boys have a date luke t the two new boys have another date so luke t has a date with rebecca don't care luke m has a date with sophie don't care later on Liam's we re actually re reassures mike and says that yeah it was all right and all that kind of stuff there's no spark but you know i'm here for you she actually finally finally decides to reassure mike and I'm just like, this girl, I thought you didn't like this guy. Because the way you were moving this whole entire week, I thought you didn't like this guy. This guy looked like he's, he was smelling trash to you because the way your face is doing. But anyway, but yeah. But anyway, I was happy because I was just like, finally, they're together. I feel like their situation is kind of similar to Molly May and to, to, Molly May and Tommy's situation when Mora was coming into the villa. And it's similar to Amber and Kem's situation so that's the thing but let's hope fingers crossed their um relationship progresses because i do actually like them together later on a little bit in the afternoon and um, mike gets a text about recoupling so now it's in the evening everyone's getting ready naz does get a text saying that it's time for recoupling everyone this time the girls will actually pick so the girls are sitting down on the fire pit whilst the boys are standing up um leanne picks first i was actually surprised like I wasn't really surprised. I wasn't really surprised. I was surprised, but I wasn't really surprised because the episode didn't really give me the 
like oomph like to think that Liang would pick Luke T so she was just given a nice speech for Mike basically and she picked Mike um, then after that it was Paige, Paige picked Finley which I was really surprised I thought she was gonna pick Luke M then Madame Rebecca Madame Arabella Arabella 2.0 Madame Rebecca. Rebecca, yeah, she came in with Vim. Rebecca came in with Vim. She did not care about anybody. Nobody. I will tell you this, guys. Shanice really likes Luke T. And they look really well together. I actually like them together. But anyway, Rebecca, because she went on a date with Luke T, she also said she really, she really likes Luke T as well. So, yeah. Anyway, Rebecca was just like, oh this guy he's really sweet he's really this he's really funny and i was just like uh -uh, this is this guy does because for me um everyone was expecting rebecca to pick connor with a g and she kept talking kept talking kept talking and then she said look t i'm just like whoa <laughs> look t naz is going home that's my that was my reaction i was just like naz is going home hi naz is going home but so yeah this made Shanice even angry Shanice's face literally dropped and I actually felt sorry for her um then after that Sophie picked Connor with the veneers typical and um Shona picked Callum typical and then after that it was just left with Shanice I felt really sorry for her oh then it sorry then it was left with um Jess so Jess picked Luke M which was kind of obvious because their date looked really well as looked really good even though luke m didn't actually want jess luke m wanted Paige. but anyway, anyway the final person was shanice okay shanice i was terrified because the only boys that were left was um connor with a g and naz i was just like this girl is gonna pick connor with a g but then after that i was thinking because my mom said this to me she was just like you know connor with a g rejected her twice it doesn't make sense if she picks connor with a g if she picks connor with a g she's just um making herself look foolish because connor with a g is gonna go back to rebecca but anyway um i was just like i was hearing her speech and, I, and her speech just didn't make sense to me like her speech was just like this person has been helping me we have become best mates in the villa all that kind of stuff and i'm just like hey is this Connor? Is this Connor? Is Naz going home? And turns out she picked Naz. And I was so happy. I was screaming. I wish I filmed my reaction, guys, because I was screaming. I was just like, yes. You know what, Shanice? I vow to never make fun of you again on Twitter and on YouTube. I vow to never make fun of you again. You're my best friend. You're a queen. And I voted for you and Naz. So I'm happy anyway so that was really literally the episode um i was very very shocked with rebecca and i really can't wait for sunday's episode because we get to see the friction because you know what when luke when rebecca picked luke t i know 110 percent luke t doesn't actually like her like i felt like he was just being nice to her like he was just flirting but he was like being nice like it wasn't like a way where he actually wants rebecca like rebecca and him don't look well they like they don't they don't look like a genuine couple they don't suit basically and i just felt like when he got picked his face said it all to me like he was just like nah this girl so i believe that luke t will either continue chasing for um Will, con will basically continue chasing for uh Shanice which will make me happy she'll finally get you know a um a you know like a finally be in a relationship but anyway guys I really hope you guys love this review and um yeah I'll see you guys next week with another love island review and do comment down below of um, your opinions of this love island what do you think about it i would love to see you guys and your opinions anyway guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on to the next video